Hi guys, Ms. Francis here to give you an introduction into ecology. Ecology is the study of the interactions of living organisms, biotic organisms, and the environment in which they live, which contains abiotic factors. So ecology is the scientific study of the interactions between organisms and their environment, between biotic factors and abiotic factors. Abiotic factors are those non-living factors within an environment. It includes temperature, light, water, nutrients, pH, whereas the biotic factors of an environment include all the living components that are found in that environment or ecosystem. Abiotic factors can affect the distribution of organisms because these abiotic factors impact organisms in different ways. For example, some organisms can only tolerate specific ranges of temperature, whereas other organisms, such as organisms found in the hot springs, um, are not affected by extremely high temperatures. Um, organisms Enzymes might be affected by those high temperatures, thus they're not able to maintain homeostasis, whereas these bacteria that live in the hot spring are not affected by this temperature. Their enzymes are not denatured by this temperature. Um, some organisms can only tolerate either fresh water or salt water or some organisms tolerate brackish water, which is a combination of fresh and salt water. Sunlight. Sunlight provides the energy that drives nearly all ecosystems. Sunlight provides the energy for producers, which are at the base of all of our food chains and food webs. So the intensity and the quality of that light can be important to the development and behavior of many organisms since that sunlight influences the producers and every other organism is dependent on those producers. Wind can amplify the effects of temperature by increasing heat and increasing water loss. Lastly, rocks and soil. Um, these are the physical structure and the mineral composition, or rather the physical structure and mineral composition of soils and rock can limit the distribution of plants and the animals that feed upon them. Different soil could have different pH and some plants can only tolerate specific ranges of pH. There are different approaches that are taken to studying ecology. Organismal ecology looks at um, the interaction of individuals. It's concerned with the behavioral, the physiological, and the morphological ways that individuals, that um, biotic organisms interact with the environment. Population ecology um, is when you've got a population, which is a group of individuals of the same species living in a particular area at a particular time. So what population ecology examines is factors that affect the population size and composition um, within that uh, population. Community ecology consists of all the organisms of all the species that inhabit a particular area. So it considers all of the biotic components of that ecosystem and how they interact with one another. Ecosystem ecology is the broadest approach to studying ecology, where the ecosystem contains all the abiotic in addition to the entire community, which considers the biotic factors of a species that exist in a certain area. So ecosystem ecology looks at the interactions between the, bio the biotic and abiotic components of an environment. Biomes are no longer on the AP exam. They will, however, be on the SAT2 exam. So I've linked an animation from McGraw-Hill that reviews biomes. The last page in your note packet is a graphic organizer that reviews the most important biomes. And at the end of this slideshow, there are slides for each one of those biomes. So if you're taking the SAT2 exam, make sure you review the biomes. However, if you're just taking the AP exam, you don't need to know.